What's up Power Rappers? In this video I'm going to show you how to set a custom background color for the splash or loading page for your Power App. Out of the box Power Apps gives you these 20 colors here to pick from. But what if one of these colors doesn't match your icon that you have for your Power App that matches the color scheme of your Power App? That's the case in this example I'm showing you here. So if I go and load this power up, I chose the closest background color possible, this one here, to my icon that I've uploaded for my power app. When I go to my power app and I refresh the page, I can see right here if I pause it that that background color does not match the icon for my power app. So that's not ideal. So what I'd like to do is get that background to match that icon color for my power app. Okay, so to do that, what I've done is I took a screenshot of the screen that we were previously looking at that showed me the different background colors and I marked it up a little bit and snag it here to show you the different colors. So we can see that the icon color for my preview with the eyedropper here is EC2954. Converting that to RGBA, I get this value at the top. I need RGBA because that's what Power Apps uses under the hood to create colors. If I look at the color that I am allowed to select out of the box that is the closest match, you can see that this is 2085256. 208.52.56. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to export the Power App and then crack it open and look for the 208-52-56-1 and I'm going to replace it with the 236-41-84 we see here. First thing I need to do is download the export package. So I will go to save as, pick this computer, and that will download my export package right like that. Then I can go over to the directory where it's downloaded. I'll rename the file and give it a .zip extension. Now that I've done that, I can open it up and I can extract all these files to that same directory. Now that the files are extracted, I'm going to open up the publishinfo.json file right here. Quick control AKF to format it. And here I can see that background color that I was looking for. This is the one that, as we can see, matches the out-of-the-box color here in Power Apps. Instead, I want to change it to 236-41-84-1. So we'll go make those changes. 236-41-84-1. One. That's all I need to do. Then I'm going to save that file, close Visual Studio Code. Back in my zip file, what I'm then going to do is I'm going to drag and drop the file into my zip file. It's important to go that way about it instead of re-zipping these. Otherwise, your Power App will not re-import back into the Power Apps environment. So I'm going to grab the publish info file right there, drop it in here, and now I have it back in the MS app file. I'll take off the .zip extension now. And then all I have to do is come back into my Power App, close this Power App. Then I can go over to the page that lists my Power App. I can then delete the one that I had in there before. After it's been deleted, I can create an app. And on the create an app page, I will pick open. I will go to browse. I'll select the one that I just edited and open it up. Now that it's opened, I will save it to the cloud, click save, 
Now I have my new version back in the cloud. Now that it's back in the cloud, I can go back over to browse my list of Power Apps, refresh the page, and now when I run my Power App, I'm going to see that the background color matches my icon. Now here we can pause it with the screen cap and see now I've updated my background image to match my icon image and I'm ready to go. Hope this video helps you out. Enjoy your power apping.